factors into it. So, like you said, it won't take overnight, but but that data has already been collected. And why is the why are we so low with on our leases? That's a comprehensive look at your property is being able to factor in all of the stuff that's that has to be considered when you set a price, not only the the, the soils and the, the foliage, uh, the invaders that you have, uh, like the cedar, I understand that. All of that stuff. But why are we so low? That's historically um, the way it's been because of just previous administrations and how they how, and how it went out. That's what I'm
signed it once. But if I need a resolution specifically, what you're going to use it for? Well, to decide that one. Okay. Uh, Sonia wants you to go over and see her. She tried to draw down what she told her to work on, but it's still saying eight, um, holding for agency review. So if you could move over and go see her and find out. Okay. She wants uh, Sonia? Yeah. yeah. She wants further advice of uh, what to do there. Transfer over to the tribe then once that purchase is made? Yep. 
popular guy that's tied to it. Well, no, he still have life at stake unless he decides to relinquish it. What does that but, mean? But it's, but it'll be tribal land up until he, when he passes in life at stake, it stops. It's tribal to be with him. Mr. Carter, don't confuse me to me, and I, I, I probably will never understand it, but he had the life estate, the title or whatever, but he doesn't have the land. The land is his son. The son's leasing it or whatever, but so does the son know that the that doing this to get rid of the land? Uh, the son can do what he wants. I know, but I mean, is he aware that his, the, guy, the guy that has the title is trying to give it back to the Reds? The son has title and, and the father has life estate. So life estate is distinguishes when uh, he passes. But any income derived from that from that tract goes to the person who has life estate. And that that that's, that, that came into, into being so that in those situations where uh, now an Indian spouse inherited land that they used to be sold and, and be turned into fee land. So the government stopped that practice and said they have life estate. Okay, tell that. So any any income derived from that that tract goes to the father who has life estate. So you would get all of it? You'll get all of it until he passes. It's just a brand new that it, whatever was titled were referred to. So the, so if the, if the sale of the land, does the father get the money? No. So he just gets anything that's... Any income you know, derived from it, like leases or whatever. He does he get all of that? Yeah. Just a portion? So, so what benefit is it to us then if when it passes, unfortunately, then we get it all back, but what do we do? Tribal I mean, but anything we, we get, these wise, you would get it all, the tribe wouldn't get it? Not until he passes. So, right, that's what I'm saying, it's just... So see, the land will not go out of uh, trust. Because it's over 300,000, right? Yeah, right. So, I thought that the deadline passed, but what, was he eligible for that land buyback? Why? Uh, like I said earlier, but I think the land was still in probate with his mother's estate, Kate Johnson. So, no transactions could happen. So, uh, how could we benefit by purchasing it? The land, that's just the land will be with the tribe. Idea of land. The tribe will be with the tribal land. Once life is once Keith Johnson passes, life estate distinguishes and the tribe holds title. Is that automatic or do you have to have a book of probate here? But um, no. What? No. So what? Uh, no probate here? The only probate hearing was at the front end of it. Once, once key passes, it's automatically the, the, the tribe will receive income from it because they already own the title to it. So, so gathering everything, which you kind of basically, I mean, just reiterating some of the things that you both said, like buying the land from the actual from the life estate person would actually put the land into. But if not, then that would go, if he passes away, that goes on. It becomes basically. No, uh, no, uh, Keith Johnson has life estate as Kay's spouse, non Indian. So basically, in the end, we're buying out the, the father? No. I mean, basically, the, the son, the, 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 the land passed to the son. So he owes the title, but he can't do 
derive any income from it because his father has life estates. So any income releases it. He gets the income. The son does. Where's the money going to come from to purchase it? So 